So, so I can't wait for this road trip. Yeah. Preserving a piece of sacred history and breathing new life into a once holy space. The one Greensburg native who now lives here in Indianapolis yeah. is making the drive down I-74 back to her hometown. I'll show you a major renovation project, how it connects the past to the present. I think a lot of folks had deep ties to the space. Inside these four walls. And so many of my childhood memories are enmeshed here. Generations of Greensburg families made their memories. Down to my great grandfather, everybody's attended church and mass here. Their sacraments. Grew up here and had my first communion here. And, and for longtime parishioners like Emily Manship, who was a server and a singer. We were somewhat sad to see it sit vacant for a while. She dreamed of sprucing up what used to be the old St. Mary's Church Parish. So the church was actually built in 1884. Manship grew up in this community, even attending the school here next door from pre-K through sixth grade. When she got engaged to her now husband, Evan, they tossed around a crazy idea. Wouldn't it be cool if we could fix up the old St. Mary's Church and make that our venue? Several years ago, the parish moved into a newer, bigger building to accommodate a growing body. It is no longer a Catholic church. Um, it's no longer considered sacred ground. Church leadership will go through a process to desacralize or deconsecrate a once sacred space. They move the blessed items to a new space that can also include some structural pieces like the altar. And when that process is complete, the archdiocese can then put the property up for sale. But it, it, it is officially decommissioned. When the manships couldn't make it work for their own wedding, they took on the challenge of buying the property to create what is now Heritage Hill. But hopefully we've blessed it with some new life. And there are many parts and pieces to this restoration effort. Not only the main church and chapel here behind me, but over my shoulder, a school behind that, a preschool, and also the rectory where the priests live. Inside the old preschool, they set up a catering kitchen with two suites for wedding parties. The rectory lawn is now a courtyard full of flowers and photo opportunities. They hope to turn the rectory itself into an inn. The school next door will be a big phase of the project yet to be determined. We didn't just come in and do paint and flooring. It, it wound up being a full structural, you know, update and redo. And as for the main church and chapel. So there was a lot of graffiti and damage and so it was it was I would like to say it was almost a little bit post-apocalyptic looking. Manship says since purchasing the property in 2021, they added this grand staircase, all new windows, new roof, floors. And tearing up the floor and redoing all the flooring, we found the original, the original tile below it. Paint, plumbing, HVAC, and more. We really were trying to, to preserve and, and make things as, as authentic feeling as possible. So it still felt like the church that many people knew, just with an updated purpose and, and updated amenities. The old sacristy, where the priests would prepare the Holy Communion before Mass, now serves a new purpose. And we took the sacristy and, and now have returned wine to it, but in the form of a bar. The bell tower, where they still have the original stained glass, now houses their heritage wall, showcasing weddings, baptisms, first communions, and more from back in its early days. It's gone through some, some big updates with, with, you know, the way the Vatican has modernized Catholic churches, as, as I think we spoke about. And now as Heritage Hill, they hope to welcome more of those big life moments into this special space. Hopefully there's a whole lineage of, of folks who can enjoy the space and make more memories here. So I had such a great time with Emily there, getting to tour, learn about the history of Heritage Hill. There was one really cool story she told me about when they did their first walkthrough with their realtor inside the school part. Okay. So it's next door. Everything had been taken down and moved out of the building, except for one class picture Ooh. that was still hanging on the wall. It's actually a picture from 1997, and it's a class photo of the entire St. Mary's School that year, and I'm in the front row. <laughs> it's, it's a really cool thing, and that picture actually sits in my office. So that was the moment she says she got chills, got a little emotional, and she just felt like this project was meant to be. Well, they officially hosted their first wedding in early August. We have all the information on how to get in touch with Heritage Hill events in this story at WRTV.com. I love the stairs. I know. I love the swings. So grand. I love the scenery. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's and it's much more to come. Oh, yeah. it's a sad that you want to marry me again. That could be a place. I know. You just renewed your vows. We could, you could renew them if again. She want, if she yeah. wants to pick me again. We'll talk later about okay, that. Okay. Love that. Beautiful story. Thank <laughs> you so much, Lauren.